Adding a color tint to a black and white image is a long history in photography. I used to use tea bags to tint my silver halide prints. With Lightroom, it's a lot easier. Let's see how. Over here in the presets pane in the left panel, right out of the box, these are probably some of the simplest techniques you can use to come up with a tint for your image. I'm just going to scroll down and you can see once again how everything appears up in the navigator window. And this is a kind of classic tint or tone, the selenium tone. And sepia, that's well known as well. There's so many new presets in Lightroom 3. So this is a really easy way to add a tint to your image. Let's do some custom tinting though. Over here, now in the basic pane, open that up. I'm going to work with the temperature and the tint sliders to give the image a little bit of a tint. Before I do that, I might come over here. Commonly, I'll desaturate it a little bit so that the effects of those tints will show up better. And I'm also going to move the black slider so you can get a little more contrast in that picture. So now when I move the temperature slider, and to the left is going to make the image a lot cooler, blues. And then over to the right, it's going to warm the image up. You can see how that's giving it a somewhat of a tint. And then down here, this is definitely going to give it a nice tint. All right. To the right, warms it up. To the left, cools it. So this is a very simple, quick, easy way using the white balance tools. And again, you can control the tint through the saturation slider over here. All right. But this isn't necessarily the most effective way of adding tints to your picture. I'm going to turn this image into a black and white version, and I'm going to show you how I ended up with this type of tint, which I am very pleased with. So let me walk you through how I came to that. I'm using a virtual copy that doesn't have anything applied to it, so I can show you what I've done. Before I go down to the actual split toning pane where I'm going to do the work, I want to get the exposure a little bit better. So I think I'm going to brighten the picture up a bit. And I always apply more positive black slider values. Moving that slider over, maybe a little more brightness there. Okay, so I got the tones good. Now I'm going to come down to the split toning pane, open that up. And here I'm going to control the hue and saturation of the highlight area. I'm going to move my saturation slider over to the right so I can see the effects of the hue. I think 50% or 50 is a good number. And then I'm going to move my hue slider to, I think 55 is what I decided was a good number for that. Obviously, just visualize the effect. And I'm going to leave the balance right here at zero. And now do the same thing with the shadow area. Move this to 50. This is controlling the intensity of that tint. And then I'll move this also to around 55, 56. I don't have to be precise. Okay, so I have the tint that I want there, both in the highlights and the shadow areas. If I wanted to just tint the highlights, I would shove the balance all the way over to the right. Now that's just putting the tint into the image, uh, working just with the shadow areas, but I want to keep it right in the middle. So it's close, but I'm not done yet. I'm going to go up to the histogram, this is where I really appreciate the ability to work right off the histogram in Lightroom. I don't have to go back to the basic pane. I just can come up to the histogram. I'm going to move my black slider a little bit more just by clicking and dragging right off the histogram. And there we go. I've got the effect that I was looking for. I'm very happy with that. So there's other ways to tint. You can use the uh, camera calibration pane. This is a little bit more hit and miss, but certainly you can work with your image using the sliders found in this pane. Once you start tinting an image, it's going to be hard to stop. Consider making virtual copies to save your different versions, or come over here to the snapshot pane in the left panel. And if you like a particular version, you don't have to make a virtual copy. You can just make a snapshot, click it and name the snapshot, tint one, let's say. And then you can go on and make different snapshots. And these will always show up in the snapshots pane whenever you open up this image. So there you go. Have fun.